Well, hey guys, I uh, got some of the frame done on the full screen machine. I'll go grab it here quick, show you. stuff up so you guys will be able to see what it's going to look like. Now this thing is, is about 12 inches high, about a half inch lower. Now from your point of view, you might be able to see. Yeah, you might be able to see the uh, camera that I've got in there. Let me adjust the camera. Let me bring it down a little bit, hold on. All right, we just got done burning today. Got a big old pile of ashes back over there. All right, well, got my camber in here and this it's all the way down now but that's it'll actually that right there will probably be all the way down a little bit From the way that this is set up, the first tires that I was going to use on this were these. You can see that they literally, the spindle literally fits inside the tire, so, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be using these tires. I'm going to be using uh, the Harbor Freight 20 inch trailer tires because that's what I have access to now uh, so I've got the camber in it um, caster also here let me move the camera all right now you can see right there that the uh, casters in there caster is retained through the whole through the whole stroke okay now one of my problems that I'm coming across and I've I created a post over on minibuggies.net their forum and my problem that I'm coming across is my rack and pinion here uh, here let me move the uh, move the camera so you guys will know what I'm talking about okay now obviously I'm going to have to extend the tie rods these bars here to connect with the Ackerman angle point up there on the spindle but my problem that I'm coming across <clears throat> is once I center these points right here I think I mentioned this in my last video. Actually, no. Actually, what I was talking about in my last video was my camber. What's the difference if my camber changes? Is it a bad thing or a good thing? But now, my dilemma is this. You'll see that I have a V point, or not a V point, but I have my top A arm offset different than what my bottom one is okay now from what I've read in certain areas this point this pivot right here and both of these are set up in the same area on the frame it's kind of hard to see it in the camera but this this one over here is in line with that bar and the frame so I've got, a, I've got a straight line going down this way, but this pivot right here of the rack 
and the tie rod do not come in line with that. They're offset a little bit. Now according to what I've been looking at and reading in that forum, it appears that to get rid of my bump steer, I would have to raise this up pretty dang high. And I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna have to do. But I'll leave a link down below this video to that forum and that way you guys will be able to follow along and see what those guys have to say. Minibuggies.net and uh, yeah. So I'll leave a link to that forum and you guys can go over there and check it out. So I'll see you guys later. Welcome all my new subscribers guys. Thanks for subscribing. You guys are just coming out of nowhere. And thumbs up this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.